Greetings and namaste YouTube. I'm Eve Lowry with The Baby's Booty and today we're bringing you another So What Pro tutorial. So What Pro is an embroidery design and monogram editing software program. So What Pro is designed for those who wish to delve into embroidery or wish to try embroidery. You already have a machine you already have purchased designs and you would like to embroider them out. If that's the case, then this tutorial is for you. Today's tutorial is going to be on repositional hoops. Repositional hoops are designed for those of us who have limited space with our hoops. I know I personally, as I mention all the time, have a four by four hoop limitation with my embroidery machine. However, there is a repositional hoop that is sold that will allow me to go larger than four inches by four inches. What do I mean? Let me show you. What you see on the screen now is an embroidery hoop. This is as big of a design as I am supposed to get with my machine. These are the knobs that allow this hoop to clip into my machine. And then my machine has an arm over here that this hoop clips into that moves this hoop all around to allow it to be embroidered upon. Now, there is a different hoop that's made very similar to mine, but as you notice, it's a lot longer. It also has the knobs that clip into my machine, but it also has a longer field than what my hoop has. My hoop is just this central 4x4, whereas this one, as you see, is a bit longer. Now, this is the 4x4 hoop, and this one is 4x roughly 6.77. It's sold at Amazon. As you see here, these are the different models that this hoop can fit. Brother 350, the SE400, the PE540D. I mean, the list goes on. It even will fit a baby lock intrigue machine. So this hoop can actually fit several machines. And the price is relatively affordable, $24.99. So if you would like to order one, just go on Amazon. I'll have the link down in the description of this YouTube video. Now, the 4x4 is a little misleading. The 4x4 design actually has to fit inside the 4x4 hoop. So the design space that you, the, the largest size design that you can do is roughly about 3.85 by 3.85. And likewise with this 4x7, as you see, seven air quotes, uh, size hoop, it's actually four or 3.85 by 6.75 is roughly the design that you can do. Now, this 4x4 hoop has two pegs to mount it to the embroidery machine, whereas this one has four. How do these four work in comparison to just these two? Well, these two here on this hoop fits into the machine you stitch out the 4x4 design because that's what it's made for and that's it. But with this hoop, these two pegs here go with this section of the hoop here. And then these two pegs here go with this section of the hoop here. And then these last two fit with this one down here. And as you notice, there's positions with this. So these up here are position one, the middle position two, and these down here are position three. And what this basically breaks down to is this four by four section overlaps with this four by four section, which overlaps with this four by four section. So it allows you to embroider different, a, a much larger design but you have to move the hoop to each stage of the design. 
So keep that in mind as we go back to So What Pro and I can show you just how awesome So What Pro is to allow you to do that larger design that you want to do. This little penguin I thought was super cute and I wanted to put her on the blanket of a little girl and her name is Bailey. So what I decided to do was put Bailey's name up under the penguin. Now in a four by four hoop, as I mentioned in a prior video about adding letters to an existing design, I'm limited because the penguin herself um, is a certain size. Let's see, how big is she? We have to move the letters so that we can see how big she is. This penguin stands 2.15 inches high. So that leaves me less than two inches to put a name down here. That should be fine, plenty enough space. However, she has a little, a little bit of a long name if I wanted to use larger letters because after all, it's going on a blanket. So what I decided to do was take this penguin and put her in the larger hoop so that I could make the name a lot larger than four by four inches. Let me show you how that worked. This is little Bailey's penguin and notice how much bigger the letters are. Now, So What Pro will show you the different hoop positions. Notice they're here, position one, position two, and position three. Now I showed you how to go from a four by four hoop size to the larger hoop size in the prior video, but I'll go over that again. Your hoop size is right here with this green filled in picture of a hoop. So if you click here, notice this is the small overlap hoop. And that's what we were going over today. The repositional hoop is an overlap hoop. So this is the one that we have selected, but normally we would be using the four by four hoop, which is up here. So I've selected that overlap hoop and then I put Bailey's name here. Now what So What Pro does is after you put in your design and you put the letters up under it. And when you go to save the design, it'll save it as three different designs. And it splits it so that you can put it in your machine as three different designs so that you can move the hoop to position one, position two, and position three to stitch out this design in its entirety. And notice once you hit okay, it tells you what order that you need to map, put your hoop on the machine. So pattern one is hoop position one. And that's the first two pegs that we showed you on the picture. Pattern two is hoop position two. That's the second peg and the third peg. Pattern three is hoop position three. And that's the third peg and the fourth peg. Let me show you how that stitches out. So we said position one is, is peg number one and peg number two. This is the section for peg one and peg two. So most of this will stitch in first position. Position two is right here in the middle. So it will cover the penguin, most of the penguin and these middle letters here. And position three usually is one or two of these last few letters. Let's take a look at the files individually and see how they look. I've navigated to the files and here they are. This is the original unmodified file for So What Pro. And what it does is it saves the original so that you can edit this one but these are your actual stitch out files. You notice they named it for you. This is the original and they added the extension so that you'll know which one is supposed to stitch out first, second, and third. The first one is B-A-I and it's the penguin's body, the fill in, the white part. Then the second position is L-E and the rest of the penguin. And then the last position stitches out the Y. This is the finished stitch out.
notice everything is in order it's all lined up beautifully this really stitched out very well all because I have a repositional hoop now I wouldn't have been able to stitch this out with the hoop that came with my machine it would have only been able to get just this roughly little square area here that's roughly four by four so in review your repositional hoop the pattern one here are the two pegs these should clamp into the bar the arm of the embroidery machine and this is the area that it will stitch out in position one position number two are these two pegs pegs number two and three and this is the area that it will stitch out and that's position two or p2 on your design file and position number three are these pegs and this is the area that it will stitch out in the machine so after you've taken them off of this these two pegs on the machine you move it to these two pegs after that stitches out then you move it to these two pegs and it finishes out the rest of the design and that my friends is pretty much how you use the repositional hoops or the overlap hoops I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please hit the like button we would really appreciate it and that will allow you to be able to navigate back to the video if you need to review it again for additional tips or to help you remember a point also please think about subscribing we're looking forward to posting more so what videos and if you have any videos that you would like to see send us a message we'd be glad to make a video for you i hope you guys have a great evening and again thank you for watching our video have a great day